If you were to ask me, what's the most important piece of equipment or tip or technique that has had the greatest impact in your gardening life, I would have to say it would be these. These PVC pipes that we installed in our garden beds many years ago. While they're not for everybody, they've made a huge impact in how I garden and how I plan to garden as I age in my garden. Let me show you right now. Hi, I'm Marion Owen, the gardener's coach, and in my 35 years of gardening, these PVC pipes have made the biggest impact. So if you're looking for something that can bring more ease into your gardening, extend your growing season, protect your plants, then you're in the right place. I'm happy you're here, so let's dig in. It all started about 35 years ago when I got tired of watching my seedlings get um, pummeled by uh, blizzards and um, driving rain and so on. And then when I would mulch my garden in the fall with compost and other organics, It'd be really frustrating to watch the winter rain just sort of wash the nutrients away. So we started placing these PVC hoops in our raised beds as a seasonal thing. You know, maybe just during the growing season or during those shoulder seasons when the weather wasn't so great in the spring and the fall. And then one day my husband said, why don't we just leave these on the raised beds all year? At first I thought it was crazy. And then I realized what an enormous benefit that was. Let's be honest, none of us are getting any younger, right? And this is something I didn't realize until my later years. And that is, I want to be able to enjoy my garden as long as possible. But you know, things happen. Back aches, knees, hips. You understand what I'm talking about. So having these hoops in place year round has not only helped with my plant's survival and comfort, but it's helped me enjoy my garden even more. It's helped me in a way that I never really appreciated until recently. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So as an example, this raised bed right here butts right up against the greenhouse, which means I don't have access to the back side here. So I have to reach across to get any work done over here. But thanks to the hoops that are firmly fixed into place, it allows me to reach all the way across. I just grab it here, I'm supported, no back pain, and I can just till the soil, pull a weed, right? What a blessing. While I'm thinking about it, let's talk about these hoops. They are half inch PVC pipe. You probably want to get them eight to 10 feet long, depending on how wide your beds are. This one is, oh, I think about four feet. So these are probably eight foot long PVC pipes. We place two screws right through the PVC pipe into the wood about an inch below the top of the raised bed and then another one about four to five inches below that and by securing them in two places they are nice and sturdy and that's especially important with the end pieces that tend to kind of fold in a little bit when you cover them with different materials like fishing net plastic and so on to secure the different materials to the PVC hoops we use a couple different methods. Special white clips, and here's my favorite, these two inch black paper clips that you can get at office supply stores. They last for years. And here's something else to consider while you're cutting your plastic to fit your raised beds, and that is to measure the length and the width and mark that measurement um, 
with a, a black marker on one of the ends so you can remember which bed it goes to or mark the name of the bed if you've got a names for your raised beds that works too also this plastic lasts some oh 10 15 years that's how long we've had some of our sections and even if the plastic develops holes in it um, it's not a problem really because the nylon mesh that's embedded in the plastic prevents it from ripping and tearing altogether. And believe me, in our climate here in Kodiak, Alaska, this has made a big difference. So that's how we've been able to keep using, reusing these plastic covers for, like I said, 10, 15 years. Now for a gardener living in a cool climate where things freeze during the winter, nothing could be more frustrating than having seedlings growing inside and looking outside and going, Oh my gosh, it's gonna be forever before these raised beds thaw out, dry out, and they're suitable to transplant seedlings into. So having these raised beds covered with plastic allows me to plant out much sooner, a good four to six weeks, sometimes eight weeks, depending on the variety of plants. Now for cold hardy plants, I'm talking about onions, green onions and bulbing onions, um, lettuce to some degree, right? And brassica plants like your cut and come again seedlings. And there's actually quite a few plants just given a chance, especially with these uh, covered hoops that'll do just fine when conditions are cold. So here's another benefit to having these hoops installed on the raised beds. And that has to do with extending the growing season. Here's an example. The first week of September, I sow spinach seeds. And then within a, you know, like a week or so, they germinate and they grow about three inches and they get fairly well established. And then fall is advancing. And so I cover the raised beds and they're able to continue growing. And then over the winter, though they might kind of stall out in their growth, still covered and it might snow, it might rain, and so on. But come February, they start growing again. And in February and March, I can harvest spinach, fresh spinach, in the dead of winter. And here's something else It was kind of a surprise. This head of lettuce actually survived through a winter of 10 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about minus 12 degrees Celsius, and we had fresh lettuce in late winter in addition to the spinach. And to me, that's like a miracle. I could not have done this without these hoops covered with plastic. Another reason why I like using these hoops so much is, for example, in the late summer, when I have onions in the ground, bulbing onions in the ground, and it's starting to rain a lot more, perhaps. And onions like it a little drier when the bulb is swelling. And so by covering the hoops uh, with plastic, I can protect onions from getting really wet and soggy and rotting. By covering these hoops with a variety of materials like tulle fabric, which is that woven fabric that are used for you know, decorations during a party and weddings and so on, it protects plants from um, birds scuffling through carrot seedlings dogs digging in there, um, and also insects, like uh, root maggot flies that would then uh, lay the egg and then the larva hatches and then it burrows into the radishes and the turnips and cabbage moths and things like that. So it's been a huge blessing. I've saved a lot of plants, I've saved a lot of money and a lot of headaches. So this is Marion Owen, the gardener's coach. Thanks for being here. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments below. I answer all of them. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy gardening. Cheers.